What's going on guys, Billy here, and my Model Y was just pushed to Tesla Vision, which is Tesla's move to using their visual cameras around the car for their autopilot and safety features, as opposed to using the built-in radar. Now, my Model Y performance was built in early 2021, so I took delivery in March, which means that it has a forward-facing radar to help it detect vehicles, pedestrians, and other objects that are in front of it. In May of 2021, so just after I got my car, Tesla announced that they were going to stop adding this radar to future vehicles in favor of just using its vision cameras. Now, Tesla and, of course, Elon received a lot of backlash for making this decision. Like, why not keep the radar in the vehicle to kind of work as a secondary means of collecting information and data alongside the visual cameras around the car? Now, if you purchased a vehicle that was running Tesla Vision right off of the bat, you were almost at a disadvantage because the traffic-aware cruise control and autopilot max speed was 80 miles an hour, which was then increased to 85 miles an hour through a recent software update. But my vehicle with the radar could achieve speeds of up to 90 miles an hour, which is almost kind of like an admission by Tesla right off of the bat that their system is not as good without that radar. Now, I know somebody is going to comment that driving 90 miles an hour is irresponsible and why would I ever need to do that? But roads around where I live, like the Pennsylvania Turnpike and the New Jersey Turnpike are three lanes wide and go on forever. With speed limits of 70 miles an hour, most people are driving between 80 to 90 miles an hour. So being able to set my car at 90 miles an hour and maintain the flow of traffic was nice. So even though newer versions of my car, the Model Y, were coming out with improved hardware features like the heated wipers and the AMD Ryzen chip that powers the infotainment system. I kind of felt like my car was special in a sense because I was able to use the radar and achieve higher speeds in autopilot. As of this weekend though, on September 16th, 2022, my car received an update that basically disables my radar and only uses the vision cameras around the vehicle. So as I mentioned in the beginning, these cameras will handle everything from the safety features to the autopilot features. So this now puts me in a really unique situation where I can compare the past year and a half of driving with my Model Y using the forward-facing radar to now my new experience using Tesla Vision on my car, fully disabling that radar. Just for reference, I do have full self-driving on my vehicle, but I don't have the full self-driving beta, the one that's coming at the end of this year, you know, the one that allows you to like turn and use autopilot on city streets. Now, right off the bat, this is a downgrade from what I had on my Model Y because I can't reach the maximum speed of 90 miles an hour in autopilot as we already mentioned, and my following distance is restricted to two on Tesla scale from one to seven. Whereas with the radar, I was able to maintain a level one following distance, so I could drive closer to the cars in front of me. This isn't the biggest issue at highway driving speeds, but when you're in bumper to bumper traffic, it leaves just enough room for someone to be that guy and cut in front of you to squeeze up just by like one little car space. You know the people that I'm talking about. So using one following distance in this case was really helpful. Another thing that I noticed is that when you engage autopilot right off of the bat. The auto high beams turn on as well, which makes sense, but I really prefer to not use the auto high beams because of how frequently they turn on and off. They really just don't work well in Tesla's vehicles across the board. In the same vein, the windshield wipers also can't be turned off when you're using autopilot, so you need to either set them at one of the four speeds, one, two, three, or four, or you need to have it set to automatic, and the auto wipers will basically turn them on as necessary. At least that's what I thought. When I was driving on autopilot in the middle of a sunny day, my windshield wipers started going off without there being a slight drop of rain. And I know what people will say, maybe my cracked windshield here had something to do with the wipers going off randomly, but these cracks really aren't near any of the sensors or cameras at all. This is probably one of the most bizarre things I've had happen to me after a Tesla update. Now, on a more positive note, something that I've noticed is that the visualization on the car, so basically what the car is able to see around it seems to be improving by a lot. So for those of you that might not be too too familiar. What I mean by this is that the vehicles and other objects that the car sees on the road, like pedestrians, cones, and signs, are a lot more accurate when viewed here on the visualization on your screen. I've especially noticed improvements in the rear blind spots where the car previously had some trouble determining if vehicles were trucks or cars, so it does a much better job in that regard. I think that this just comes down to Tesla's AI getting better day by day, update by update, so no matter which update you receive, there'll always be gradual improvements to the self-driving, safety features, and other things that have to do with those visual cameras. Now, just some final things that I want to note here. I feel like after doing this update, my car is a little bit softer on the brakes when in bumper to bumper traffic. This could be a result of having to use the level two following distance, but regardless, that ride quality seems to be a little bit improved. I also feel like I'm not getting as many false forward collision warnings. I don't know about you, but with my car, there could be like a vehicle kind of parked off to the side, parallel parking, and if I'm driving and trying to go around
around them, my car will think I'm going to hit them and then beep at me. But I feel like now, after this update, it isn't perfect, but it also is a lot better at determining whether or not I'm actually going to hit what is in front of me. The final thing that I need to note here, and this is something I really haven't experienced all that much, is the ghost breaking. It is I would call it out of control after this update, but I'm kind of coming from a place where it never happened to me. So I feel like now after we've moved to Tesla Vision with just those cameras, it's almost trying to be over cautious about what it sees and how it operates. And if it thinks it's gonna hit something, it will break no matter what. And of course, you'd rather be safe than sorry. But again, this is something I never had to deal with. I had maybe three or four ghost breaks over the past a year and a half of driving this car. And now after I do the update, it's something I experience almost on a daily basis. So I've got a trip coming up to Dallas. I'm gonna be driving down there in the beginning of October with my car. It's gonna be cool to kind of see how Tesla Vision handles my drive down there because of course I'm gonna do a majority of it on full self-driving on autopilot. So that'll be cool to see. Um, if you guys are on Tesla Vision with your vehicle, feel free to let me know down in the comments section like what you guys think about this update. For me, I still wish that I didn't update my car almost because using the radar gave me a better experience. But I feel like with Tesla Vision, you almost gotta take like one step back to take two steps forward. At least that's what we're being told by Tesla. So hopefully this continues the improvements over the coming weeks, months, and years. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.